Back home, 400 workers of Keroche breweries are facing the sack this week if the dispute between the, bure the brewer and Kenya Revenue Authority is not resolved. The Naivasha-based brewer has said the closure of its operations last month by Kenya Revenue Authority has paralyzed its operations, drying its financial inflows. The company is embroiled in a tax battle with Kenya Revenue Authority over the non-remittance of taxes. For the second time this year, the Kenya Revenue Authority has sealed the operation of Kiroche Breweries, halting the production of its products. The country's second biggest brewer was reopened in April this year after KRA closed its operations in March. The tax agency accuses Kiroche of failing to remit billions of shillings in withholding and pay as you earn taxes. However, Kiroche has blamed a tough operating environment for its financial woes, pleading with KRA for more time to settle the pending tax. Taxes. Last month, the Kenya Revenue Authority descended on the brewer's premises in Naivasha, accusing it of reneging on its promise to pay 400 million shillings every month to clear the tax backlog. Today, Kiroche Brewery's chief executive, Tabitha Karanja, has said she is seeking audience with KRA for more time to repay its tax debt. She says if KRA fails to reopen its premises, it will be forced to sack its 400 workers since it cannot pay them. The ensuing tax feud with Kerry has crippled the financial position of the fledgling brewer. Ndusa Mokami for Lunchtime News.